friends, it's me, Lucy, again. We've been looking at lots of names and titles given to God in the Bible. And recently, we have been looking at the names given to Jesus in the New Testament. Today, we will look at a name that Jesus gave himself, Bread of Life. Wait, Jesus called himself Bread? That's right. In John chapter 6, verse 35, Jesus said, I am the bread that gives life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. You see, Jesus used bread as a symbol to explain that we need him in order to have a healthy spiritual life. In our story today, Jesus provides bread for a lot of hungry people. He uses their physical need to explain their spiritual need. Let's take a listen. Jesus took a bowl to Bethsaida. People told one another, if we hurry, we can see him. The road along the shore filled quickly. Healthy people ran. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump into you. Sick people walked or rode a donkey or someone carried them. Jesus saw the crowd coming. He smiled at people to welcome them. How much they needed him. All day, he healed the sick and taught about God's kingdom. But late in the afternoon, Jesus' disciples began to worry. What are we going to do, they asked him. We are out here in a lonely place and all these people are hungry. We better send them away to buy food or they won't have the strength to walk home. We don't need to do that, Jesus said. You can feed them. What did Jesus mean? We don't have food for all these people, the disciples said. And we don't have enough money to buy food for everyone. But Jesus wasn't worried. He knew what he was going to do. What do you have? He asked. Does anyone here have any food at all? Go and see. The disciples scattered through the crowd. Andrew found a boy with a little lunch, five loaves of barley bread, and two tiny dried fish. He brought the boy to Jesus. This young man has a small lunch, Andrew said, but it's not enough to feed the thousands of people. Tell everyone to sit down in groups, Jesus said. When everyone was settled, Jesus looked up to heaven and thanked God for the food. Then he broke the loaves and fish into pieces for his disciples to take to the crowd. In their groups, people passed the bread and fish to one another. Mmm, this tastes heavenly, they said. And there is so much. Would you like another piece? Little children held bread and fish in each hand and laughed and smiled as they ate. The five little loaves and two small fish didn't run out until everyone felt full and no one wanted another bite. Let's not waste anything, Jesus said. Gather up leftovers. The disciples filled 12 big baskets with fish and bread. Amazing, the people said. Our ancestors ate manna and we ate the fish and bread. Jesus must be the one we have been waiting for. The next day, Jesus talked about what he had done. I am the bread of life, he said. Listen to me and believe. Then you will live and never be hungry. How do you like to eat bread? Do you like it toasted for breakfast? or with peanut butter and jelly for lunch? How about warm rolls or cornbread with butter and honey at dinner time? Bread tastes good. It fills us up and it gives our bodies energy and nutrition. People all over the world eat bread. Jesus said he is the bread of life. Just as our bodies need food so we can live and grow, we need Jesus so that we can live with God in heaven someday. Even after a good meal, we will get hungry again. But when we believe in Jesus and he fills us up with his words and his presence, we have life right now and later on in heaven too. As Jesus continued to teach, more and more people began to listen. In fact, 
Some of the people wanted to make Jesus their king. But Jesus knew that that was not part of God's plan, so he walked away. But then he took another walk, one that wasn't just on land. See you next week. Bye, friends. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, the bread of life. Help me be filled up with his words and his presence today and every day. Amen. Amen.